Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. January 31st was the deadline for cities and towns to submit a form to the state to be in compliance with the MBTA communities law, and the state has confirmed that Waltham got our form in on time. It still needs to be approved by the state, but assuming that happens, Waltham is no longer in danger of losing the $300,000 for the Waltham Housing Authority or other state grants for now. The next step to remain in compliance is for the city council to change our zoning laws to allow denser multifamily housing near the T. The form said that the mayor and a team of officials in City Hall are working on a plan and they expect the city council will be holding special sessions to address the ordinance changes in June and September of this year. However, the form submission also included supplemental materials making the case that the state's requirements are not reasonable for Waltham because we already have many multifamily units which don't count toward the total required by the state. We'll take a closer look at that on our debrief show. On February 2nd, Ward 7 City Councilor Paul Cates held a community meeting where participants brought up a wide variety of issues, including zoning policy and the recent vote on the farm. Mayor McCarthy was there and helped address some of the questions. You can find a video of that meeting on our YouTube channel, and we'll also be discussing it on our debrief show. This week, the City Council held committee meetings. The agenda included a discussion of the RFPs for the field stations property as well as 92 Felton Street, but the council did not receive those in time, so they'll be discussing them at a future meeting. This weekend is the grassroots campaign training program offered by the statewide progressive group Mass Alliance. If you are thinking of running for office or helping with a campaign this year and you consider yourself a progressive, this training is highly recommended by people in Waltham who've taken it and there's still time to sign up. The next thing we post will be our debrief show, so stay tuned. Thanks.